Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salaar Khan here. And today we see a down counter. All right. Till up, till now we have discussed the up counter. And today we see, let's say, the three bit. All right. Three bit. And also asynchronous. Asynchronous down counter. This is just a clock pulse. All right. Okay. 3 bit asynchronous down counter which means for each bit we require a single flip flop so for 3 bits we will be requiring how many flip flops 3 flip flop let's say using the T flip flop all right so this is the first you have the input let's say TA you have QA and QA complement the next you have uh, let me make it a, a bit wider so that the writing is clear you have TB and you have QB and QB complement and finally the third is over here you have TC you have QC and you have QC complement fine an external clock pulse is applied over here all right and what about the clock pulses for this so this we are going to discuss now the inputs are made a logic high a logic one which means a high state is provided at the inputs all right all the inputs are made high now is that fine now uh, we make what we make the asynchronous down counter with the help of an up counter. So if you have a look at these falling edges, all right, these are negative edge triggered flip flops. So they will be operating on the falling edges. Fine. So let me first draw for the up counter. For the up counter, all right. So how do we have for the up counter first initially let's say this is QA so this is the case it toggles on negative edges fine is that fine now the QB will toggle on the QA's negative edges this is something revision all right we have seen this already okay this is for QB and finally you have for QC uh, for QC QB was acting as a clock pulse so we have QC initially zero and like this so this was the up counter all right I was drawing this from uh, before but uh, then I said we'll draw it together so together is fine you get you get a good revision of it this is for the up counter all right and you also know the truth table for the up counter so let's say we have the input we have the clock pulse we have the inputs QC QB and QA the output sorry <coughs> sorry so let's say initially all of them were zero all right and then when the first clock pulse arrives the negative is triggered second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh so their values changed all right so we have it like this now I believe whatever I have done till now in this particular video you know this from before about the up counter isn't this the up counter now for the down counter designing this down counter we have two methods out of which the first I am using right now all right the first method is what you take your QA complement QB complement and QC complement as your output all right and you do what and 
you provide uh, the non complemented that is QA, QB and QC as the output uh, no not the output as the clock pulse as clock pulse to the next flip flop so this is the first way that I am using right now I am taking QA complement QB complement and QC complement as my output and I am providing QA and QB as the as the clock was to the next flip-flop if you have the 4 bit so you draw another flip-flop QC is provided over there now our output now how do we design a down counter how how now this is the truth table for an up counter so for a down counter you do what for a down counter you have this QC complement QB complement and QA complement so that is what it does now if you complement it so you have what you do it yourselves all right like this now you saw now you know, you see that this is doing what this is the down counting it's coming from 7 and it's coming to 0 initially it went from 0 till 7 now it's coming from 7 till 0 so now this is what this is the down counting isn't it 0 to 7 is up counting 7 to 0 is down counting is it clear till here all right now let us draw the the what the clocked pulse diagram all right so you have a, a Q, A, Q, Q, A, Q, B, Q, C is the clock pulse. The outputs are what? The outputs are Q, A complement, Q, B complement, Q, C complement. Now if you see, so let me first extend these lines a little. Although we are not going to need it, but uh, we need it for, for the straightening. All right. Now have a look. Your first output is QA complement. It is just the output of the flip-flop, which means it has nothing else to do. So you just take this QA of the, the, the what? The, the up counter, and you just take the complement of it. Now let me tell you, in this case, you have the QA is the LSB, all right? You know this, but let me write it down. QA is the LSB, and over here, QC, this is the MSB. This is the most significant bit. So first for QA, let's say, so QA is just the complement of that up counter, all right? So, so for this, you have the QA complement is what? Initially it was zero, so it will be high over here. Then it went high, so it will come low. So you complement it yourself, all right? Like this. And you let me know wherever I make a mistake, because if I make a mistake in the first, the second is going to be wrong, the third is going to be wrong, and all of them are going to be wrong. You make a mistake in a single step and, and after that step everything is wrong. So this is now your QA complement which means this you have got your least significant bit over here. 1, 0, 1, 0, fine. The next for QB. So what do you have? This QB and you're taking the output is from the QB complement so you just do what you directly complement it and this is your QB complement so initially it was a low state it goes to high state all right comes low and then for two clock pulse is like this then goes high stays high for two more comes low for two and then when it comes to zero this goes to high this is QB complement your next output now the QC, so you complement it again, so you have your QC complement over here and what do we have to do for initially it is high for this period of time, then it goes high so this would go low, this goes low till here, is that fine? So this is your output of what? 
this now you have designed your three bit asynchronous down counter now if you have a look one 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 this is seven at the second you have a what uh, no sorry this is the most significant bit. so one 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 now one one zero isn't it now one zero one yes over here one zero zero yes here zero one one yes then zero one zero yes then over here zero zero one zero zero one and finally zero 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 this is zero 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 and again one 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 which means it repeats and i've told you whenever it repeats <coughs> you just stop over there is that clear till here fine now the second method all right so what is the second method well i have uh, a little space but you will have to compromise on that all right the second method is that you take your QA, QB and QC as outputs. Take QA, QB and QC as outputs. And you provide the complement, that is QA complement, QB complement and QC complement as clock pulse to the next flip flop that you know very well. So now have a look, let me extend these lines. I'm sorry, I don't have enough space, but I believe it will be clear. Okay. So, so, so if you want me to draw the diagram for that, or should I make changes over here? So I, if I make changes over here, Yes, I will remove this part of it. All right. I will remove the previous. Okay. And I will draw a new one for you. Now this QA complement is given as the clock pulse. QB complement is given as the clock pulse. And these are your inputs. Output, sorry. QB is the output. QA is the output. That is your least significant bit. And QC is the output now, which is the most significant bit. Fine. Now, first, QA. So QA is as it is, all right? QA would come out to be as it was previously. So let me draw it over here. QA. Zero. Fine. Yes. Yes, it's correct, all right? So, so this is correct. These are the falling gauges that I mentioned. So QA would come out to be directly like this. Fine. Now you take the complement of it because uh, yeah, the, the, for, the, for the B flip-flop, QA complement is acting as a clock. All right. So I believe I don't have uh, enough space. So QA is already drawn. All right. So I would remove this because I need space. And I will also remove this. So again, let me extend the lines. I'm taking a lot of time in this video, I believe. What say you? But that is not a problem. Fine. Now your QA is the same output. All right. Now what happened? This Q, this QA complement, QA complement acts as a, a as the clock pulse to the B flip flop, to the B flip flop, which means the QB, the B will be obtained from the negative edges of this clock pulse. Is it fine? All right. So QB, uh, now we draw with which color? Let's say with the red color. This is QB for the next method, all right? So initially, let's say it was a zero. Now when the first falling gauge has arrived, it toggles. Now till the next falling gauge, which means still here, it is high, then it toggles to low. Then for two clock pulses, it will stay low, then high. Then we'll stay low, we'll go low and we'll stay low then. This is your QB, all right? Now this, this, the complement of this QB, this will now act as a clock pulse to the next flip flop, which means we need QB complement, all right? So now initially it is zero, so it will be, it will be high, then it goes low, then it, it stays low, then goes high, 
stays high, then stays low, stays low, goes high and stays high. Now this is for what? This is for the QB complement. Now this QB complement is acting as as the clock pulse to the next that is the C flip flop so which means it will operate which will toggle on this negative edges and also on this negative edge so these are the two negative edges all right now uh, let's say initially it was zero QC QC we are running all right so if initially it was zero so it stays low till here on the negative edge it goes high till the negative edge till the next negative edge it stays high then goes low until the next negative edge has arrived so this is your QC all right so that's about it your final outputs are what your final outputs for this case are this QC this QB and the QA is, is the same is this one all right QC, QB, QA. So now if you check for the output, so have a look over here. It's a 1, 1, 1. Fine. After the next, QA goes low, the other two would stay high. This two stays high. Then 1 goes high, 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. And like this you can check on. So that's all about it. I think I've made a mess out of the board. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, but I hope the idea is clear. And the main thing is the idea, all right? It's not about the right. It is about the writing. You should understand the writing, all right? You should be able to see it. If you've come along with me from the very beginning, so you you have understood this, and you have also understood this mess, all right? But if you you just started watching from the from the from the very middle when I was over here, and then I'm making a mess out of it. So then you won't understand it, all right? So that's all about it. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.